Decimating his competition by wide margins became House Buster's calling card. In becoming the first horse in more than 20 years to win consecutive division championships as a sprinter, it became common for House Buster to simply crush his opponents. A winner of 14 stakes, including 11 graded events, House Buster won the Jerome Handicap by 13 lengths, the Lafayette Stakes by 11, the Morven Breeders' Cup by 7, and the Vosburgh Derby Trial and DeFrance's Memorial Dash by five or more lengths. A bay son by Mount Livermore out of the great above mare Big Dreams, House Buster was bred in Kentucky by Murphy Stable and Blanche P. Levy. He was owned by Robert P. Levy and trained as a two-year-old by Ronald Binshaw before being transferred to Hall of Fame member Warren A. Jimmy Kroll, Jr. House Buster made his debut at the Meadowlands in November 1989 and broke his maiden in his second career start. He won two of three starts as a two-year-old, all of which took place at the Meadowlands. In 1990, House Buster finished nine for 11 with wins in eight graded stakes. House Buster's brilliant campaign was rewarded with the Eclipse Award for Outstanding Sprinter. House Buster won four of eight starts in 1991, including grade one scores in the Vosburg and Carter. And House Buster rolls again. House Buster wins the Vosburg in hand. It was another Eclipse Award winning campaign and the first time since Hall of Fame member Tawi in 1970 and 71 that a horse won consecutive sprint titles. House Buster finished his career with a record of 15-3-1 from 22 starts and earnings of over $1.2 million.